Today on Learning, we're going to show you how to do a gremlin on the wing effect that looks a lot like this. Hello there, Puma. I am the gremlin on the wing. What's up, people of YouTube, people of the internet? I'm Bobby. And I'm Brent. And you're watching. Learning with Bobby and Brent. We are gonna do something a little fancy here today. We're gonna take the your favorite character from Brent Flick's original series, Red Heaven, the Gremlin, and we're sticking him on the wing. Gremlin on the wing? Of what? A plane. That sounds familiar, Gremlin like a, on the wing. What is that from? I, I think it was from a, a little show called Twilight Zone. Ooh. Back in the day. Yeah, that's classic stuff right there. So we're gonna be doing Black some Mirror eats your heart out. Let's get right into the tutorial. Wasting no time today. Boom, boom, boom. Me and Brent recorded here a little, a little song thingy song. of the gremlin in front of a green screen. So we have our video here. The first thing I like to do before getting working on green screen is just working on the color a little bit. Let's Bump up the exposure a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Bring okay. out some of those greens. Sure. Okay. Maybe some contrast. Maybe some contrast. Maybe a little satch. Saturation Maybe for a, short. I think that's looking pretty good. What do you think? I, I think that'll work just fine. Okay. So we have our color corrected. Now let's bring this up into After Effects. All right. How so do we do that? We're going to select both the audio and the video here okay. by highlighting both tracks. We're going to right click and we're going to click Replace with After Effects Composition right here. Sounds promising. And so that'll open up After Effects on your computer. All right, so we have our file open here in After Effects, and hey, apparently I'm a fool. So <laughs> let's look at here. It's looking pretty good. You're all so, fools if you've watched this far. JK. So the first thing we have to do is add a key light. So we're going to search. First we got to spell it right. First we got to spell key light right. So we'll search key light, and you'll grab key light 1.2 and just drag it right there on the video. Awesome. As you can see, we've got our screen color hmm. in our nice British spelling. In the British fashion. And we're gonna grab, wow, look at that. Did a pretty good job. Did I mean, a really good job. There, I mean, there's a, some subtle stuff in the background. You can sort of see some weird bluish, grayish kind of pixely stuff. Yeah. But I would say for the most part, it did a decent job grabbing all the green screen there. It did a. Pretty good we're, job. We're, we're patting ourselves in the back. I we, think so. we did an okay job lighting the green screen yeah, for we, once. Yeah, we got some nice backlights. Considering we just kind of threw this together right first thing this morning, uh, not too yeah, shabby. Nothing on the leg like I thought. Not there too would be. shabby. We're gonna go into our view here, and we're gonna go to screen mat. Okay. And that's gonna show us basically the what is transparent and what is still being right. revealed. Basically, black represents transparent, white represents fully visible. So if we go into our screen mat settings here by clicking this drop down, there are two different settings that we want to focus on, clip black and clip white. Okay. If we clip black, we can make the darker colors fade out more. Nice. So we can sort of take away some of those inconsistencies in the green screen. All right, yeah, I see what's happening here. And I've we can do the those... same thing with clip white by pulling it back a little bit. Okay. And as you can see, it really brings out. We're, we're getting way more distinction between the stuff that should be visible and the stuff that shouldn't be. Yeah. So. We did a pretty good job here, Brent. Yes. I think that we can go back to our final result. Now, one thing that we can do to make it even better is if you zoom in here, you can see there's some pretty hard lines there. Yeah, they're a little jagged, jagged little pills, if you will, Alanis Morissette. Jagged little lines. If we go into our screen mat settings, we can actually turn the screen softness up to maybe about four. And that'll create sort of a nice blur. Yeah, it gives there. you a little softer edge there, which can sometimes help when you're dropping things from green screen onto another background. It makes helps it maybe blend a little bit better. Yeah, you do, you helps don't, it you don't want to like more natural. Yeah, more natural. It doesn't you know stand out so like strangely. Well, one thing we want to make sure we do is mask out the sides here yeah, of the green can screen. Yeah, we see our. Mountain bikes and the mountain bikes some and other stuff. tools and doodads that we keep in our green screen, our green screen room. It's pretty easy to do a mask. So we're yeah. going to grab our pen tool up here. Yep. We're just going to do a pretty broad mask, making <laughs> sure that we're getting most of our green screen in enough so that if I move too far out of the screen, that I'm still in it. So I think that's looking pretty sweet. Yeah. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. So we're going to grab our plane clip here and we're going to drag it right into After Effects. And the reason we need it in After Effects is 
because we will be doing some motion tracking. Okay. And we will drag it to the layer below so you can see the gremlin. Oh yeah, there you are. There's the gremlin on the wing right there. Oh, yeah, his majesty. So now what we want to do is, I think that we could do some lumetri color on the plane itself. And we'll just do that real quick because this is in a lumetri color commercial or tutorial. <laughs> so we'll be right back after this few lumetri colors. This episode has been sponsored by Lumetri Color. Bam. Nice. That's more colorful now. So now we're going to position the gremlin somewhere on the wing that looks appropriate. So we'll make him a little bit smaller here and we will drag him. We have some videos showing a little bit more in depth on how to do motion uh, tracking. Maybe take a second to fix the light. That works. Cool. So Fonsted. you can check out that video and make sure that it is Fonsted. Make sure that you know a little bit more in depth what we're doing here. Um, we're just gonna quickly go over it right now without being super detailed. If you can't find your motion tracking uh, bar on the side, you can go over to this little arrow up here and go to your motion tracking uh, window. Cool. And it'll bring up this tracker right here. So once you've selected the video you wanna track, all you do is click track motion. And we're just tracking uh, position. We're not tracking size or anything. Right. So we're gonna keep it simple and just have position selected. And now we're going to find our tracking point. So if we zoom in here, we can select the square and look for a good point that we can track. So usually yeah. something of color is something that stands out a little bit better than nothing. So, so this little whatever that is on the plane, that that very crucial bump there on the wing, yeah, we'll track that. I think that we can almost try like, that. Almost looks like, like a weird pair of brass knuckles. It does look like a weird pair of brass knuckles. I guess we should just see if it uh, tracks well. If it doesn't, we can pick something else. Let's uh, analyze forward and see what it does there. Let's analyze this and analyze that. The sequel. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's it's doing a really good job of tracking. Yeah, it's, it's holding tight. It is not going anywhere. It did a pretty good job tracking all these little spots right here. Nice. As you can see. So awesome. The next step is to make sure that we have a target for this track point to be attached to. Okay. So we're going to go to our composition here and we're going to create a new null object. Yes. So if we call this null track, we'll rename it to gremlin null and we go back to our tracking layer here by clicking on this tab up here okay edit target gremlin null okay and then we'll hit apply x and y we'll say okay so as you can see the null object moves with the tracked object here okay. on the screen. Now, if you move the null object at any point, it screws up your tracking. Okay. See, and the thing is, if you want to change the position of the object that you're uh, tracking, you can't do that. So if you create a null object, what you can then do is parent what you're tracking to the null object so that you can move it wherever you want and wherever you place it, it doesn't matter, the null object will always have it be tracked. So it will still keep the motion tracking so it stays in the right position will, wherever you place it. Exactly, it will cool. never move. Okay, so now there's one more thing that we can do to make this video look even better. So it's motion tracked right now. The gremlin is on the wing, officially. Yes. But there's something missing. It kind of looks like the gremlin is in front of the window. Yeah. Do we want to make it look like the gremlin is behind the wing? behind the window, on the wing, outside. One trick that we've learned is some um, screen blending. Uh, so we're gonna go back to our plane footage here and we're gonna hit Control or Command D and it's going to create a duplicate. And we're gonna bring that duplicate to the top of our layer here. And now we're gonna go to our screen mode and change it to screen. So as you can see that sort of screens our uh, window so you can see through the window yes. and into the layer behind it but it's a little bit too intense. So if we hit our T key on the keyboard, it'll bring up our opacity. And we can lower that opacity to about maybe 60% so that it looks like a nice balance. Yeah, now you look like you're behind the window as opposed to in front of it. Yeah. At least it, a lot better than it did before. It, sure. it looks a, a whole lot better than it did before. So if we shut that off, you can see the difference. It really looks more cinematic. Yep. And I think that that is a pretty good gremlin on the wing. I think you did it. 
I think we did the gremlin on the wing, I guys. I think we made it. So we're going to hit save here, and we're going to go back to our Premiere profile. And we're going to see what we got. And we're going to see what we got here. Hello there, Pooh. I am the gremlin on the wing. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you viewing and learning with us. We yes. actually learned this on the spot. It was fun for us. Yep. Yeah, this was a little bit different. Usually we come into tutorial feeling pretty confident in what we're doing. And today we kind of, we knew what we wanted to do, but uh, we just kind of were- Wong it. Yeah, we won it a little bit. We're trying to figure out how to do it on the fly a little bit by using all the tricks yeah, on the fly, gremlin on the wing. <laughs> yeah, we kind of use the tricks and tools that we already knew going into this to kind of figure out how to do it. Yeah, and we combined a few different techniques that we've done in a few of our other videos. Yep. And I think we came up with a pretty good result. Yeah, definitely. So this is kind of just a nice example of how I can, even things that seem like they aren't that important or like on their own aren't that exciting, you can use the, all these different little tips and tricks and tools to combine to make something really kind of fun like this. Yeah, so. and do whatever you want. And that's the kind of the key to becoming a video editor yeah. is being able to think outside the box and go outside your comfort zone and do things that people normally wouldn't expect you to be able to do. Right. So that's something that I think that you can take home from this video is try some new stuff, try combining a few different skills that you've learned and just have fun. Definitely. It's all about fun, people. We we'll keep reiterating fun. that like every other week, but it's all about having fun. So. And you know what? We're getting more and more positive feedback every week, and me and Brent really appreciate yeah, you guys. That makes that us watch. feel great. It yeah. makes us feel great knowing that you know you guys are out there and enjoying what we're doing, and you know giving us positive feedback. And, and all the feedback on our editing lately has just been overwhelming. Yeah, I mean, since we got back from the road trip and been working on those videos from San Fran for like. So much positive feedback. Yeah, so it's we just really good appreciate to hear. it. It's you have no idea how much me and Brent really, you know, that affects us. It makes us want to edit more, it makes us want to become better video editors. Yeah, so. to make better videos for you guys to watch. So thank you so much for all that thank positive you. feedback. We love you. Now you know us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you Tell hit that like subscribe. button. You know, if, you don't want to miss this journey. If we're you know anyone going. who might be into this, what we're doing here, share it with friends, yeah. you know. Cause yeah, if you know any people like no, young I know, people I know our video, like, I know our show is not for everybody, but you know, that's okay. You know, yeah. we, we try to do a bunch of different shows on this channel that are for you know whoever. You know, yeah, it's just so. it's all it's all about bringing people together, mm -hmm. having fun, and learning things. Whether Absolutely. it's electric cars, you know, software movies. skills, gear reviews, movies, movies, the movies, and whether you should watch them or not. We just <laughs> want you to to be entertained, and we want to share the things that we like with you. Absolutely. And help change the world. For sure. So, thank you for watching this video. He's Hit Bobby. Hit that like button. He's Bobby. I'm Bobby. He's Brent. I'm Brent. And you're... Quatching. Ooh, Quatching. Yeah. We're fusing together into one person. Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to start tearing apart the wings. Something that, that I can really appreciate is now that I've infiltrated the Tesla videos, <laughs> people might be watching this just for the Bobby and Brent factor. Yeah, or the Bobby factor. The They're Bobby probably like, who's this Brent guy? I know, I got some Bobby fans out I don't there. like his face. I don't like his beard. I don't well, trust people with beards. We need to infiltrate. If I've learned anything from movies and stuff, guys with beards are usually the bad guy. Yeah, you can't They're tricksters. Them. Unless they're nits. They're trying to hide something. Like a very trimmed beard. Yes. Yeah, so you get the all... overgrown ones are the good yeah, guys. Yeah, that, that's just a good guy who's lost his way a little bit. Yeah. You know? But if it, that beard is well trimmed, look out. Like He's like, going to stab you in the back. Like in the Hunger Games, like the, the guy with the weird beard. Yeah, weird you know, facial hair in mind. movie equals bad guy. Yeah. So next time you're watching a movie, you see a guy with weird facial hair, you know he's the bad guy. Bad guy, stop watching the movie. You already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Hunger Games, bad guy. This is the yeah. Guy. Look this at that facial hair. Look at that beard. That is that is so well evil. Trimmed. That is what's his name? Wes Wes Bentley at his evilest. Yes. Yeah. Brent, you could pass for him. I think if you if you got that. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me strike a similar pose. Okay. Wow. It's actually really uncanny. The similarities. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little freaked out right yeah, now. Yeah, it's that looked exactly like his face right there. 
Are me and West Bentley brothers? Long lost brothers, maybe? Are you the same maybe? person? Do you have blue eyes? No, you have I don't. Eyes. I have well, brown that's the only eyes. difference, but it's looking really good. Yeah. We're really just tuning our own horns now. Yeah. We're starting to get, we're getting too good for this crap, man. I think so. Sorry, think guys. This show, this show is about to end play. because we're just too good at this stuff we're now. We're going to get hired by Disney or something. <laughs> exactly. We're going to go work for Spielberg yeah. exclusively. <laughs> Spielberg's calling us up like, Spielberg. boy. Spielberg's like, boys, I see what you're doing there on YouTube. I'm loving it. Come to Hollywood, baby. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Come to Hollywood, baby. Oh. It's okay. We all the rights to this song. I'm gonna stop the screen and record. Because it's been going on too long. Na, na. Na, na. Coming on the wing. I'm Don't here close to it. stay. <laughs> 